Welcome back to another Minecraft video, you guys. In the last part, I got some diamonds, meaning I have some cool diamond tools now, and I still have two diamonds left over for an enchanting table. But, in order for us to get any sort of decent enchanting going, I have to make a sugarcane farm. And I did gather a whole bunch of sugarcanes, so let's do that real quick. Let's just get a very basic, simple sugarcane farm going in this little area down here uh i actually don't know where i want to put it exactly i think this right down here will do just fine but i want to get some very basic enchants on these tools i don't need anything like efficiency five i'm breaking three right away well of course that would be super nice it's not really something that i need right now um for this still sort of early game minecraft so let me go ahead, four, five, six, seven, 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 eleven. we'll go down 12, why not, and then we'll just plant sugarcane on both sides. Well, I may as well get the one water in right here, and then let's head back to the farm and grab some more water. Although, it looks like the pumpkins are starting to grow in nicely. Look at that. Oh, that's good, that's good. I still think that after I'm finished recording this episode, like while I'm getting all the editing done and all that sort of stuff, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit AFK in my house and let my farms grow and produce. Because, why not? I'm pretty sure if I go like this, I can just take unlimited water from here. Yep. Uh, I love that mechanic. Perfect. And now I can just go all the way over like this. I have one left over, so I'll just put it over here. Now, I know that's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll do for now. It'll do for now. So that's a good way to get the sugar cane growing. Now what I need to do... Actually, let me grab some water from here now that this is infinite as well. I need to find um, some lava, and I'm pretty sure there was a lava pit somewhere around here. It shouldn't be too far away. Um, so I'll do a little bit of looking for that right now, and hopefully I'll find it. I found it. Yeah, it's over here by the mountain, and the village is up on that hill, too. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this lava to gather up just a little bit of obsidian. Let me make sure there's not any lava under it. Ooh, and I found some coal. Uh, very cool. So let me gather up some obsidian. This may take a little while, because obsidian is a pain to break, but while I'm here, and while the sun's still out, I may as well gather enough for the enchanting table and a nether portal or you know what actually no disregard that if i'm being smart i may as well gather enough for an enchanting table enchant my diamond pickaxe at least to be a little bit better than what it is right now and then i can go ahead and come back and get the rest because then it'll mine you know maybe a little bit faster so i need four total pieces of obsidian right now for this project now for my enchanting table i don't want it to just be an enchanting table out in the middle of the open and for right now that's what it's going to be it's just going to be plopped right down next to my house with some bookshelves and i know that's ugly but eventually i have this really awesome idea we're at the top of that mountain uh kind of in that peak right there next to the little pink cherry blossom tree i want to build a wizard tower and have my enchanting table and potion brewing set up in the wizard tower uh, i just think that that would look freaking cool uh, and then i'll have like a mine cart that comes from over here maybe like a transport hub or something and the mine cart will tr uh, transport you all the way up to the base of the wizard tower um i don't know i just think that that would look freaking sweet uh, and also my big spruce tree grew, so I can chop that down as well. Um, but I guess all that's left for me to do right now is to wait for the sugar cane to grow just a little bit. So let me go ahead and put some torches around here just so it has a little bit of lighting. Um, and then I'll let it grow for a little while. I'll put it up here. We'll let it grow for a little while. Okay, perfect. Um, anything I need to get done down here, I'm going to let all that grow fully until I harvest. I guess I can grab some of the eggs uh, and hope I get some more babies from these eggs. I have six eggs. I guess seven now. Um, and this place is starting to fill up. Okay, so I got I got two babies, which is good. And this place is starting to fill up, so at some point, I'm going to have to come in here and harvest these chickens. Yes, that's... 
Unfortunately, chickens and cows eventually will have to be harvested. Cows pretty soon, too. Although, I want to actually... I got wheat in my house. I do want to breed those guys. Cows pretty soon, too, because of the enchanting table. I'm going to need a lot of leather. And I already have some books. I've, you know, I've got 31 leather. That's not bad. So, it's mainly the sugarcane that I'm going to need for the bookshelves. But I only have 18 XP, so I can't really do too much crazy enchanting. And I don't have any means of getting a mob farm. Eventually, I want to get, like, you know, an actual mob XP farm, but I need to find a mob spawner for that. Or I need to build some crazy contraption up in the sky, and I don't really feel like doing that. <laughs> that's, that's not really the kind of Minecraft I like to play. If I'm going to build something, it's going to look pretty. And eventually, I will make a big, crazy mob farm in the sky. But I'm going to do it much later when I can actually make it look pretty within a reasonable amount of time. And in order to do that, I need big tools. So I'm going to go ahead and chill here AFK for a little bit. And I'm going to let the sugarcane farm grow in. Okay, I am back from AFK for a bit. I actually had a little bit of lunch, and it was quite delightful. <laughs> but let's go check on the farms. I think that there should be a little bit of growth. Yeah! There actually is. Okay, good, good. So, okay, we get some wheat farm growth, which, of course, I'm going to AFK more later just so I can get that entire thing to be filled before next episode. Um, and then we have a little bit of sugarcane, which is nice. I only need three pieces at the moment. Uh, so, I guess four, four will do, of course. All right, so let's head back up to the house, and we'll get some crafting going. Now, I do already have some books, which is nice. Here they are. And then I also have some um, for the spruce. I'm gonna use and the planks, and I'm gonna use it as um. For the, let's see how many we can do. I think it's four shelves. That's right, because we got them from the village. But I'm gonna use spruce as like a crafting block. All right, and then we need to make another book, and we're going to do that for the enchanting table itself. So we'll start with four bookshelves, and then we will go from there. Okay, so there are the diamonds, and there's the enchanting table, voila, and I think I have lapis, not a lot of it, but the first things I'm going to enchant are going to be the pickaxe and the shovel, and the shovel is because I want to do a lot of terraforming around these hills here, but like I was saying, literally just right now, uh, these four right now, right down here is going to be where I'm going to put the enchanting table. I know it's not a very awesome spot at all, but... It's gonna do for now. So what level do we get up to? 11. You know what? That's not bad at all. And I can afford it. We got an efficiency 2 pick. Um, unbreaking 2. Actually, that would be better than nothing. So, breaking 1, I'm breaking 2. What if I enchant the sword? See if I can get another reroll. Fire aspect 1. I actually want that. So I'm gonna take it. And I got unbreaking 2. Efficiency 2. I'll go with Efficiency 2, and I got Unbreaking 2. That right there is pretty good. And then for the rest of the tools, I'm just not going to enchant them. So we got some basic enchanting going in this episode, which is super nice. Now, the only other thing I really need to do in this episode is I need to cut down that giant tree. So I'm actually going to show you guys how I cut down these big trees and why having a tree... Oh, the pods will spread. And not too bad, though. Uh, but why having these big tree farms are super awesome. So we can take... I mean, this axe is going to break, but I have another one in my inventory. There we go. Um, we can go up these trees in sort of a spiral staircase. And we get so much wood from it. And all the rest of the wood, of course, just drops to the ground. Like, this is the most efficient way to get a lot of wood for crafting and building. And I like building with spruce. I enjoy it. Um, I think it's quite fun. Um, but I mainly use these spruce wood pieces for, say, crafting. Um, and if I'm going to build a big mine, which I'm going to do pretty soon, where I just do a lot of strip mining and stuff, um, I'm going to do that with wooden stairs instead of oak stairs because... Or not wooden stairs, but spruce stairs instead of oak stairs because I'm going to have so much spruce man we are still going up to the top of this tree this is awesome not even there yet and we st uh, I'll pretty much have a full stack and I'm pretty sure this is nope we're not there yet at all there's the very top all right and then now what you do from here is you just sort of do this and you will take a little bit of fall damage get all the wood you can um, and we just sort of 
come all the way down like so. If you don't want to take fall damage, I guess you can go down like this. But because it's like a spiral staircase shape, you can just walk down this spiral staircase while still gathering everything, which is super cool. Um, the biggest project that this is going to come in clutch for is going to be the storage room because we're going to need a lot of chests and stuff like that. Uh, and so just having all of this spruce wood available for chest crafting is great. Look at that. Over a stack and a half of wood from one tree. And I kind of, I guess I went through a half of an iron axe durability. But I'm going to need one more spruce sapling so we can continue growing this thing. But yeah, that's freaking sweet. Um, super cool stuff. Uh, I mean, I really want that other sapling, but I'll plant these three. Well, no, I'm not going to plant these three because one of them could grow on their own. Come on. There it is. Awesome. Give me that sapling. All right, cool. So there, and we also get a whole bunch of sticks and other benefits with it as well. It's just overall a great early game farm to have. If you can get some spruce uh, saplings, then that's absolutely perfect. And I have so much wood now that is so freaking nice um but yeah now that we got that enchanting done there um that's gonna do it for this episode in the next episode of course i'm gonna let all that grow in but i think i'm going to begin on terraforming so we can actually start building some stuff that i want to build because having this house is the only real building is kind of sad to me and i think it's time i get started on my official house which i think i'm going to put up over there by that mountain um because of course this is just a starter house i want a house that i can continue expanding forever um and i think that would be really fun so we'll put that somewhere up there but yeah that is going to do it for this episode if you enjoyed make sure you guys like the video subscribe co comment you know ring the bell share with your friends the whole shebang the whole shaboom i'll see you guys in the next one